The Texas agriculture industry is under a real labor crunch tonight with fewer and fewer field workers available to pick produce in this country. As border correspondent Oscar Margain reports, this could mean higher prices at the grocery store for all of us. At a time when the summer heat beats down on field workers, the agriculture industry is taking a beating of its own as it braces for yet another labor drought when harvesting season kicks off in September. We want a legal, reliable workforce that's here every single year. Dante Galeazzi, the president of the Texas International Produce Association, points to a 15-year trend, a shrinking pool of workers in a market with a growing demand for produce. And yes, the Produce Association is talking about jobs the average American apparently is not willing to take. If you have fewer workers, you're going to have to pay more to those workers. That means that produce is going to have to be sold to the grocery store for more. The grocery store is going to have to sell to the average American consumer for more. That is why companies with enough resources turn to hire migrant workers through the H-2A visa program, which allows for a one-year permit renewable to three years from a pool of 59 countries. However, Galeazzi says it's not that simple. Right now it's so bureaucratic, there's so much red tape. I mean, other people in the industry actually need legal teams to come in and show them how to get their applications in to get H-2A workers. And even then, there's no guarantee that they get those workers. At the same time, companies here say the pool of foreign workers who usually fill these agricultural jobs is also shrinking. Especially those who come to the U.S. illegally to find work like this 30-year-old man from Mexico. He says he's fearful that authorities will suddenly arrive to round him up, hence why he chose to conceal his identity. And law enforcement's doing their job, and, and, and we understand it, but you know, as you put that pressure on there and there's no legal or viable system to bring workers over, well, then you've got a problem, right? Just as this man's wishes are to work more freely and have a more secure job, Similarly, the industry is seeking more liberty to provide that work to keep up with demand. Galeazzi will be traveling to Washington, D.C. next Tuesday, where he'll testify on behalf of the agriculture industry and push for priorities such as immigration reform, infrastructure, and trade before things get too sour. In Edinburgh, near the Texas-Mexico border, I'm Oscar Margain reporting.